It's Look beautiful. Over there. So you may be wondering what's going on here with us slicing this tomato. We got this delicious sandwich in the works. And we're back in the kitchen. Yeah, scratch, Joe Maroney. We're going to be making some, some incredible things. It's going to be wonderful. Now, well, tell us uh, how you procured all this food. What's the special occasion? Well, you see, over the last several years of me being employed, I've given 10 to 12 percent of my money to the government. And they have this wonderful program called the Food Stamp Program in which they give back to the people all the money they've taken. And what's the name of that card they give you? It's, uh, it's, is there a special name for Illinois, it? In Illinois, it's called the Link Card. So, you can see here, it allowed me to purchase for my friends a various array of meats and cheeses. There's salami. It's the link to the meats and the cheese. It is. It connects people to sandwiches. It's got this Colby here. That's nice. This turkey's got Look maple. Look at the patterns on that. Look at the patterns. It's like, a, oh, I'm doing a shit. It's like a psychic, just like Mama Cass's dress, you know. You get some corned beef and your, your stack of sandwich rolls. Got some green onions. Now, uh, as far as this sandwich goes, so you're gonna you're gonna slice the bread and you're gonna put all these fixings uh, in between the bread. How much cheese do you think you're gonna use uh, in ratio to the meats? You know, that's a good question and one uh, of personal preference, I think. But typically. In the deli, in the traditional deli, the uh, the ratio is about two to one meats to cheese. You know, because there's such a wider array of meats, you know, that go. Like right, there's the more sandwich. there's more flavors, you know, and spicy. Do you got any spicy meat? Is this what they look like? Is it that's perhaps? That's the salami. That's more of a salted cured fatty meat. But you see here, to add the spice, we have. There we go. There's the oh, thicket right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. We call this Southside Holy Water, where I come from. Jardinero. This, this, what? Marinated pepper mix. It's beautiful. It is. Uh, if you let's get let's just get a little close up. Do you think in, if you wanted jar. you could you could take a bath in it? With this particular brand, that would burn, especially around the uh, rectal region and to the tip of the uh, genitalia. It would be very uncomfortable. But we have both Il Primo Jardinera and Il Primo Salami, which I think they're gonna melt real nice, you know. Okay, now do you have anything to say to people whose doctors maybe shouldn't be watching this and knowing that they're gonna be eating one of these sandwiches, you know, who's who's uh, advised against it? Is there a, is there any way to cover oh, this up, you know, during your next uh, checkup? You know. I'd say if they ask any questions, just tell them that it's vegetable oil and it's unsaturated fats. So it's actually good for you. Okay. That's, you know, that's what I'd say. There, you know, there's, there, there are a couple ways to, you know, hide such things on a, uh, uh, you know, on a test they do. Most, uh, you know, the Murray sandwich ingestion test is one that the doctor most uh, commonly does. Uh, to to see how many delicious club and beef and combo sandwiches an individual has digested over time. And the Murray system involves immersion in a liquid and then some uh, drawing of a fluids intravenously and, and an analysis. It's a very complex test. So it's, it's rather hard to elude. Uh, yes, yeah, hard to mask uh, all of the sandwich lips that are you know floating through the bloodstream and uh, settled into the fat deposits of the body. Okay. Uh, that doesn't sound good, Al, but you know, that's okay, that's the price we pay for indulgence and a luxury, you know, so uh, if the doc finds out about it, what are you going to do, that's okay? He'll yeah, just, you're uh, paying him, right? Just scold you a little bit. Now, explain to me, uh, how long do you think it would take for one of these sandwiches to send you to the bedroom 
you know, with the, uh, you know, have you spent some time in there, about seven, eight hours, maybe longer? You know, possibly depending on your metabolism, depending on how you're working uh, that day, you know, it could be anywhere, you know, if the jardinera is spicy, if the salami is just right, you know, it could be anywhere from two to four hours even, oh, at the earliest, fast. at the earliest, yeah, it's amazing what they're doing with sandwiches. Now, if, uh, does the uh, intake of uh, old style, uh, or old style light beer uh, hasten that uh, digestive process in any way, or would you say it holds it up a little bit? I would say that it definitely increases, especially so uh, in the case of old style light. I drank about a six pack to myself of that the other night, and uh, let me tell you, it goes in like water and it comes out much the same. Oh, Jesus, God, that's awful. Hey, anyways, hey, I want to ask you too, Al, how many bedrooms you got in this house? There'll be three. Three? Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. So just in case they, all of us come down with uh, some kind of intestinal problem, problem in quotes you know what what problem could be caused by a delightful sandwich such as such as this will be uh you know that we'll, we'll have enough time and space to uh, you know what we can all use the bathrooms together right not right. of course not together in the same bathroom but no not like that bathrooms. no but i know what you mean because i mean we're not gay no, no, yeah, I wish, you know, I wasn't even going to say that, you know, yeah, I wish no, you know, not trying to infer I mean, I may be like wearing that. a flowery apron and cutting vegetables, you know, but... They don't, they don't mean nothing, you know. Yeah, my grandma cuts vegetables. And lastly, I wanted to ask you, have you ever uh, considered putting a trough urinal in the downstairs bathroom? Absolutely, it's some of the bigger events that we host here, you know, it would be a real good idea. <laughs> it would be real nice to just kind of let people go, you know, all together like we were talking about. Right. But, I mean, you know, if it's a Draft, then it's like the ballpark. Right, right. right. You know, right, it's not like know, a gay bathroom. It's not a gay thing, you know. No. It's just kind of, you know, Guys there for convenience. With their stuff yeah. out. You can pee in it real fast. Don't got to worry about dripping on the floor. You can pass out on it if you get too drunk. Oh, yeah. I mean, the trough is real nice for passing out in, you know. Right. I've done that a couple of times myself, you know. The urinal is a little awkward, you know, because you got to put your head in it and then put your feet, you know, like propped up on it. Right. It's, hard, it's it. hard to fit, you know. Yeah, it is. But, uh, but the trough is nice. It's kind of nice. Just lay right down in there, you know. It's like sleeping in a water bath. Oh, oh my like, God, that's hey, it makes me want to pass out right now. Anyways, well, Al, I guess that's gonna be it for tonight's uh, yeah, uh, sandwich session. This is uh, Joe Maroney, Al Scratch. Hey, uh, see you guys later.